transfer. Now the starting quarterback in Tuscaloosa, but South Bend over a couple of seasons. He appeared in 13 games last season, a couple of games in, injured his shoulder, came back for Notre Dame's bowl game, and then decided to transfer and follow Tommy Reese's offensive coordinator down to the SEC to play for the Crimson Tide. Do everything. Buckner, bullets one to the sideline, incomplete. He missed Jermaine Burton. The punt group starts to form up on the Alabama sideline. Just a little bit behind the receiver here by Tyler Buckner. Yeah, Jermaine Burton would have been, that would have been a nice catch if he made it. But if you're the quarterback, you want to make sure you get that ball out on time and in rhythm so you can hit him right out of his break. Can Tyler Buckner show that he can be the quarterback, or did his luck end with the Irish? Oh, that time, he faced the rush. He tried to flip one to Isaiah Bond, but Jalen Stokes was right in his face and forced the wobbly release. Right here as a quarterback, you want to get a little bit of depth off that fake so that you can navigate the football over and behind Burton on the last drive. You, you see some... Screen picks up a handful. This area of the game so far. Four-man rush. Buckner lobs one to the sideline. The catch made by Burton. Did he toe tap? He, he did, did not. not. Jinx, by the way. We said it at the same time. <laughs> you see right here, he needed to drag that toe. Wide receivers, when you get close to the sideline, know where you are, and sometimes you're gonna have to fall, right? Take that tiptoe, catch the football, and fall on your face to make that catch. Some Tua Tonga Vailoa. That's what they want to get back to. They just want to sustain drives, run the football, and play great defense. There's a slap. Nice play action fake by Buckner. Two of those games in 2007, and then one last week to Texas, and Coach Saban is just screaming to his players, losing twice is not an option. That play action fake bootleg did not fool the pass rush of Daquan Evans. Day Day Evans came through untouched and went after Buckner. That forced the quick release, and now it's third down and nine. Four-man rush. Buckner, incomplete. Well short of Ja'Cory Brooks. And it will be another Alabama punt. And you're sitting there on 39, and I say they got to get Jermaine Burton rolling. He's not even on the field. But now you're seeing a guy in Ja'Cory Brooks who we haven't seen really make any plays this year, but he's one of their most experienced wide receivers out there. They've got to figure out what quarterback, what wide. Play action for Buckner. He escapes. He's got running room. And dives to the 41-yard line to pick up eight. But they're putting pressure on him. They're going to run this dagger dig concept here. And watch Tyler Buckner read the safety, but miss a wide open receiver deep down the field for a touchdown. And after a turnover, good job by Buckner getting vertical and getting positive yards. Scream and a diving attempt by Malik Benson. That's a quick throw by Buckner that was inaccurate. No gain down to Chris. You know, Bob, sometimes... Rather than having five drive-stopping plays, we had about 15. You can ha maybe handle a handful during a game, but not 15 of them. And here's Buckner with a little dead leg move on third down to pick it up. He faked out Jalen Stokes. Right here, you see Tyler Buckner make the read. Dean goes down, he pulls it, and I'm sure he played basketball because that was celebrate touchdowns. <laughs> yes. That's how much he wants to change things. After the timeout, Buckner. And that falls incomplete on second down and 12 in what is now a driving rainstorm here in Tampa. You need to take control of this quarterback competition. Make it happen. Play action with two tight ends on the field. He wants to take a shot. Tipped ball incomplete. He tried to fit one into a tight window to Isaiah Bond at Day Day Evans. Williams in the game as the tailback to the left of Buckner. There's a quick strike to Bond. And Isaiah Bond. This team hasn't played to the Bama standard, but they also haven't been able to develop develop what their identity is either. Play action for Buckner. Looks downfield. He'll throw the deep ball for Burton. At the goal line, just past his outstretched fingertips. Jermaine Burton had a spell. Alabama after the takeaway at the eight-yard line. McClellan stays in the game to the left of Simpson. Simpson to throw. Here comes the blitz, and he's forced to heave it to the sideline. Boyd 
intentional grounding. He really did. And right here, you're going to see as soon as he drops back, he knows he's in trouble, tries to get the football out, and, and does it convincingly and in the area of one of his wideouts. Down right here, what are they going to allow Ty Simpson to do? Simpson under pressure. Got your third quarterback in in three games. That doesn't bode well for the season. Blitz off the edge. Simpson escapes. Fires one high over the middle. Tipped it incomplete. Chase McClellan still in the backfield. They'll let Simpson throw. He's out of the pocket once again. And he'll just heave it to the sideline and throw it away. Two seconds to go. Now third down and ten. Simpson to throw. Why in this moment wouldn't you put Jalen Miro back in the football game? Because he's clearly shown he gives you the best chance to win. Simpson screen. This is C.J. Dupree. It'll be he starts to his name to respond like that in a, in a heated situation. It shows you who he is as a player. They should give him an opportunity to continue to develop. Ty Simpson, that's what he needed. Drops one into Dupree. An explosive play in the pass game for Alabama. Finally strikes. Finally. You see the play action, and look at this throw. Seeking missile right there from Ty Simpson to CJ Dupree. Slip pass into the right flat, reaching for the pylon is Robbie Oots. Out of bounds inside the one. Told us yesterday we will be very aggressive. We will go for it on fourth down. He was not lying. They've gone for it five times. The throw is Simpson. He'll be thrown down. Another sack. This one courtesy of Jason Ball. Yes, the coaches say he's a gritty, tough pass rusher, and right here when he got his hands... i probably say, what the hell is this guy doing hitting me before the play starts? All of that erases the Vaughn sack on first down. From second and 19 to a run, and then a first down by penalty. There's another sack, though. This one, Day Day Evans bends the edge. And right here, you're going to see him coming off the edge. Say, whoop, whoop. On the tackle, speed always wins, baby. Ty Simpson's been getting beat ever since he came into the football game. The company dad has retired. They've sold their house and are moving down here to Florida to be with their son. And their defense is reflective, Chris, to this point with Josh Heupel and then Tennessee with Coach Heupel as well. And now taking over this program and forcing third down and 14. And bringing a blitz out of the pocket is Simpson. He's going to try and play quarterback run. And he'll slide well short of the first down game. Roy Dell Williams to the right of Simpson in the shotgun. Empties the backfield. Here comes a blitz. Over the middle. On time. Isaiah Bond. First down Alabama. Yeah. Two new guys and four of eight from Ty Simpson and five of 14 from Tyler Buckner isn't truly what they were expecting coming out of this game. Simpson double clutches. I mean, it's third and 11. They clearly don't trust the quarterback right now, so. <laughs> Here comes the blitz again. And there's a down and out to Jermaine Burton, but nowhere near the first down. He's got to find a way to come with an, come up with an opportunistic play here on defense. Now Jam Miller in the game at tailback with the two tight ends. Running the opposite way, though, is Simpson. The quarterback gets sawed in half. At the 23-yard line. But will they give? USF a chance to get a stop. And there's the jump. And one at the six-yard line. And they need a miracle. They need the ball to pop free, you would think, to have a chance to win. Quarterback sneak. And that will put Ty Simpson across the line to gain inside the five-yard line for a first down with only one timeout left for USF. One of the hardest plays to stop in all of football, the quarterback sneak. And because the ball really shown themselves great today but by not calling their final timeout even if they were to get a stop the game would be all but over